Anyway, guys, how are you doing in Corona land? Yes, guys, this is your girl, the fashion diva, Diva Madonna. How are you doing today? Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be doing my fashion vlogs and I'll be sharing on my YouTube page, Glam Sense Divas, if you want to subscribe and follow me that'd be awesome we can you can also suggest topic and different fashion question for me to get into but anyway i'm here just to now listen to my girl tessan chin big up jamaica all the time listen i love this girl man our song is like breathtaking so when i'm in the mood for some jamaican vibes when i miss it tessan is my girl that i go to so make sure you guys check her out on YouTube and follow her music to some chin big up for yourself anyway remember I was talking to you guys about counterfeit and my fashion blog is going to be showing you the fake from the real or the real from the fake whichever way you want to take it and I'm going to share my stories with you as a stylist and how I've been scammed. Well, yeah, people try to scam me. Trust me, it happened before, okay? So I'm gonna share a little story about how, well, I have two stories of how friends try to sell my counterfeit. I want them to try them, sell me, and they're about to come take it back. Anyway, so this is what happened. This was years ago, and I know my friends are watching the video. Big up to the self, yeah. No hate, but I have to share my story. So back then, you know when Louis Vuitton came out where they had the luggage, honey, and every hot girl have a luggage. I'm of the big one, the small one, the medium-sized one. Yes. So there's this girl who was very popular, and everybody knew her, you know, hot girl. So people think that everything she wore was real. So I have a brethren, a friend that knew her, and she come to me and said, Yo, Madonna, yo, me have a link. You know, I can get you these luggage for a good discount price. So I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, that girl, you know, she has the hookup. Now, back then, everybody wants a hookup. You want to know who have the link and that's what's up. So I gave her, I think I gave her like five grand because the luggage was about maybe 15 grand. So that was like, wow, big discount, big deal, big saving. And then you're looking at her, Miss Fabulous, and assuming but from a friend, care the luggage said, come give my girlfriend. My start scratch her itch. <laughs> like I always tell you people, fake and me don't go together. Like when it fake, we just know, we just feel it. It just starts scratch my skin. Even if I wear fake jewelry, it rash me up. So she gave me the luggage set and them look good. But from a look on it, I said, something wrong about this. It not look real. So I said to my girlfriend today, I said, I don't know, why them luggage don't look like them real? Why the leather them not smell leather? Why they don't look the way I was? Because I always, one thing about me, I love shopping. So I always go to the mall and I go to these stores and I'll take up stuff and I'll look in them. Always no prices. I don't ever price ever brand name because that's just me. I'm like a shopper alley. So I'll just walk in the mall. I look in the stores, the designer stores. You know, sometimes you can't afford it, but you would just want it. So you just take it up and walk from the store with it. Yes, that was me. So I already knew how these luggage look in real time. So when she gave me the luggage set, three piece, I think I got the big, the medium, and the small. I never like, I never feel good. <laughs> I never feel good at all. So what I did, I, I remember going to that mall in Long Island, um, Roosevelt Field Mall, yes. And what I did, I brought a liquor one. I went in the L. the Lewis store and I'm like, hi, excuse me. And they're like, hi, how are you? Can we help you? I'm like, oh my God, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas, but I don't know. I just want to know how much you pay for it because I so love it and maybe I can exchange it for something. I didn't have a gift receipt or nothing, but I just wanted to like chat up a star. Anyway, the girl take the bag from me and I'll put it on the counter. My sister start whisper to the other salespeople. Them. So I'm like, Waiting patiently for come here, so I saw one per thousand dollars for my bag of the people. Anyway, the lady come back, she and her friend. She said, who gave you this? I said, my boyfriend. She said, late. She said, oh my God, your boyfriend doesn't like you. I'm like, why? She said, this is not real. This is fake. This is counterfeit. <laughs> she said, I would take this back from you because really and truly, you're not supposed to have a counterfeit. But I realized that you really didn't know. She said, listen, let me show you 
how you know about counterfeit and she went for the real bag and she put beside my bag and she opened it up and she showed me look the leather inside is red this is genuine leather this is a fabric she showed me different parts she showed me the threading she said if Louis Vuitton is making one bag and the thread just malfunction they're not putting it out she showed me how to look for leather how to bend it and see how it creases I was so embarrassed I was like Jesus anyway I played it out Call my friend now for my money. I'm all about my $5,000. I'm all about my money. So I call her, right? Lord Jesus, my daughter, nothing to fake. Them girl, that bad girl. Blah, 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 blah. I said, listen, when I get my, my money, I'm police. I get involved. I need my money back. This is not real. I'm going to spread it. So it took me like maybe two weeks. Them come take back them bag and give them back my money. And that was the end of it. So every time I see these girls, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, fake. Because they can't call me again. So that was one scam. That was a couple years ago, right? Come back again. I have another friend. Every time you say I should post, I mean, I'm sure she's watching. Every time you say I should post all kinds of Louis and all kinds of things. And I'm assuming this girl is carrying a $20,000 Louis bag. I'm mean, not saying she can't afford it. Okay, because at the end of the day, you have to have a credit card where you can't value more than $20,000 for a $20,000 bag because nobody not count out $20,000, $20 in a Louis anymore. And first thing, anything over $10,000, they have to report to the, to the government. So, she tell me, say, she have this guy who work her, Gucci. Okay, and him get employee discount. I'm off some links. So I'm getting Madonna jump because you know she love bag. I'm like, all right, fine. She said half. She said like quarter, like half price. I think I'm four. You paid two, whatever. She come with her bag. First thing I'm gonna meet her for the bag. Them she came with the bag. Them plastic. F number one thing you know about counterfeit people. Plastic. If plastic up on the angle of the bag, it not real. Okay, China thing that <laughs> real. Designer brand do not come with no plastic wrapping. Not them kind of plastic. The anyway, you can tell the difference between a professional wrap product than the plastic, like when you go buy cheap things on the street. Anyway, from she gave me the bag, my head I hurt, me stressed out because she don't take my money. Me said nothing, something wrong with the bag. The bag you have problems. Couldn't take it. Someone said, you sure up. She said, no, no, no. The guy works at Gucci and that's my, I've been buying all my stuff from him all this time. And he would never disappoint me. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, girlfriend. Madonna again, go to the Gucci store. See the same bag which I have. Never cared. But what I did, I purchased the bag with a Gucci 3005. Never forget. I purchased their bag. The real, the one with me, with me, seen up for them. So I'm using my credit card, I'm going to buy it. So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to check it. Bring it home, put it next to the, the one where she gave me and the one where I get out of Gucci. Girl, nothing I look the same. Everything, the eye of the eagle lean, the treading, the, I mean, just an imitation to the tears. Nothing real about the bag where she gave me. The bag different. It na look good. It na match up to the real bag. Call her now and tell her some more of my money back because I'm here for food and this she give me, right? Slow God, she start crying a storm or the guy rob her all this. So I'm going to say, all this thing the guy gave was fake all this time. No, it's real. Girls start crying act like she never know. Men are like, mash up men are, men are cool, but men are can be friends like that again. You know why? Because of fake. I mean, I wear fake. Straight up. Okay. Anyway, she started crying and said she never knew, blah, 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 blah. I mean, come on. It not look the same. It's different. And you guys, listen, out there, you got to be careful with counterfeit because the counterfeit them, they come in the same package, the same yellow box where it's Louis gear. Them have it. They have the white Gucci box. They have it. The only box I don't see them catch is the, the, the Dulce Gabbana. I don't see people's fake that box a lot. But the entire see a girl by Instagram, sometimes I open up her box and she open my car. It's not real. Not because you see all of the paper and all the things are coming in. All of this, them give them all give this. It not real. Be careful of the scammers. They're out there and they'll pretend. And because them girl, them cute and them look good, you assume that what they're selling or giving you is real. It is fake. Always check your serial number. Valentino don't have serial number, but you can check from the leather. You can go to the store and you can check. And what I realized, what I start to do, when I see most, enough of them girls that post them picture, you just screenshot it, and then you screenshot the real thing in the store, and you just combine them, and you can put them together. 
So today I'm going to show you two products that I have. One is a gift. But well, somebody think them give me it. Well, them said it real. I went from me get it, but no, it's fixed. So I'm going to never look at it. And this is the Fendi Poncho. All right? So I'm going to show you real and fake. Now, this one I got from a friend. Again, I don't know me and them friends. I always say them to give me fake things. And at first, I looked at it. I know something never. It just too, too orange. It just never quite too orange. It just... You can't tell when something is genuine. The orange was just giving me a headache. And I kind of like to check it out and realize uh, it never really... It, well, the only good thing about it, it never did say Fendi. And that's good. I don't mind wearing an inspired um, outfit. Like say you have a Versace or something, but it's not Versace, but it's inspired. But it doesn't say Versace. But I'm not going to wear something that says Versace if it's not Versace. But I'll wear Versace print. Regardless, if it doesn't say Versace, it's just like an inspire. I, I, I look that you know the designer create from the fabric because I know Versace own the fabric, so nobody can make anything. So I I don't have a problem with that. Anyway, see there. So this one, look at this. Very heavy. Um, the color, very yellow, very orange. All right. It it is it's very different. Now I'm going to show you. The real one all right so i see a lot of celebrity especially reality star posting their fendi poncho and trust me i've seen a lot of fake ones and they must star and they can't afford to buy the real but them think i'm a trick people fake because there's three colors and shades to this thing all right so this is mine that i got for my valentine and you, as you can see, it comes with a Fendi, and it comes with the tag. It tells you the fabric, it tells you where it's made, um, and it tells you almost everything, all right? Now, if you look at the difference, you see the shade. It's lighter inside, and then you have the back on the outside. So this is definitely, it just feel real. It, it feel much different. It's a lighter fit, okay? It looks more elegant. If you look at the orange, look at this orange. I'm going to show you. Let me show you. This orange is orange. This is red. See that? One is red, one is orange. This is the real thing. This is a counterfeit. Straight up. You look at the inside of the fabric. You see how tan it is. And you look at this and you see how red it is. And Fendi don't make nothing like this. They have the black, they have the cream, and they have this color. Okay, so if you see somebody with a with a, a orange one, it's not from Fendi. It's not real, straight up. So I'm just showing you how sometimes you can get deceived by the looks of things, and how you can get deceived by counterfeit. All right. So my friend gave this to me. I don't want it. I don't use it. I just keep it because I knew I was gonna do a video one day about it. All right. But you can tell the difference. These retail for $1,190, with tax it went up to like $1,200 and something dollars. Yeah, you might think it's a splurge. It is a splurge. Um, but it's a difference. It's lighter. It fits better. You can see the hemlines. You can see the shredding. You can see everything that makes it different. And like I say, nothing is wrong with wearing what you want to wear. I'm not licking down the people and them coming to feed. But when you try to convince me it's real, or you post it and tag the company and pretend like you just pay $5,000 for the bag, you know it's a $30 bag, that's what I have a problem with, okay? It's free, wear what you wanna wear, no problem. But I'm talking from my experience where somebody give me a gift and convince me it's real and it's not real, or somebody try to sell me something and it's not real. Them things that irritate me, irritate my spirit, all right? So guys, listen, be careful of counterfeit. Make sure that you always buy from reputable sites because a lot of sites out there sell a lot of designer things and they're not real. So make sure you Google the sites, you look at reviews, see how fast the shipment is and see exactly what you're getting for your money. If you don't believe, you go to the store, you take up the one of the same thing that you got and you put them together and you compare them. You look in the inside, you look at the display on the outside, you just look, you can tell, it's obvious, all right? So guys, listen, 
thanks again for watching another blog fashion diva with your girl diva madonna make sure you click the link and subscribe if you're watching this on ig follow me at glam sense divas on youtube all right and follow me on instagram why not um fashion yes fashion sense like i always say why blend in when you are born to stand out so we're gonna take it away again with my girl tessan shin big up yourself tessan can you don't know yes so guys listen stay safe in corona land corona's still out there all right and a big up on yourself can you don't know so it go yeah come on tessan come on